mold can literally move into you. And that's what we call colonization, which is a pretty controversial concept. You know, when I talk with EENT doctors and things, they would say that colonization doesn't necessarily need to be treated. Some of them say it doesn't even exist. But if we use the word biofilm instead, now we can have a conversation. When you're sick from mold, the mold we find in the nose isn't just something you happen to breathe in when you went on a walk and you're going to breathe it out and your snot is going to dissolve it. So it's just a passer through. If you're sick, that's become a resident. And what we find is those actually start to make mycotoxins. I've had patients 20 years prior from a college building or, you know, college housing, still sick. And then we get their nose taken care of and symptoms go away. You know, I mean, it's profound. Is it only the nose or is it primarily the sinus nose area where the, the biofilm happens? It's other places. But at that time, I was already addressing the gut. Mm -hmm. So I'm a naturopath, you know, I have to do that. So yeah, I was yeah. already doing like, you know, treat the gut and address biofilm. But when I added the nasal treatment to that, so I, I kind of think of it as you need to do both and not ever one without the other, because every time you swallow post-nasal drip, you're seeding your gut. 